Ajo. Ajo. I owe you everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. Well, I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York. Uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Me, yeah, I got business to take care of. Look, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know... Uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I... Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you know? you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I... I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered, and it's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Ah! Vai, vai, vai. Conta o dela, meu. Ei, quem é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, dá uma lição nele. Então, o pai dela não diz. What are you 
doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him. Answer him. What, what are you doing? What? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing, are you here? doing you here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? <laughs> Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell is going on. I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leave at all. For me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. It's time to leave this palace. The last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more pressingly, it seemed I was too. Special Forces painkillers. The security switch had to be in that booth. friend I had left in that town. Puta da puta! That kid 
kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. This nice. The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking. Drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward. Nothing changes. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. They had their body armor, I had mine. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. <clears throat> Come from the control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running.
It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. If the heat was rising, that meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. One thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. killed more cops than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. Sao Paulo's own David and Goliath. I'd pinned De Silva as a coward, but he'd risked more than anyone, and he'd never taken a bribe. If I didn't hurry, Becker would be long gone. I 
I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. The bastards had me locked in. This was a waste of time. The doors were all locked. There had to be something else I wasn't seeing. This was a waste of time. If I didn't do something soon, I was gonna be crying myself to a very long sleep. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. that tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't going to find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. Hey, pal. Nice to see you. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. And you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. Yeah. 
still nothing to show for it. It felt like I was detaching, that maybe this was revenge for something else, something buried deep in the past. Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. It was time to get out of that circus before any more clowns showed up. I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. Becker and Bachmeyer had taken their pound of flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. Beleza, rapaziada. Bom trabalho. Só tô esperando a confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar tá morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar tá morto! Da puta, pelo amor de Deus!
Americans love to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be? Shot. I was gonna have to get creative. It was a waste of bullets. His cover was too good. Ceiling tiles looked kind of loose. It was worth a shot. You don't know when you're lost, do you? You have served your purpose. This is where it ends. You shouldn't have listened to that idiot, that Silva. Why do you think you're not dead already? to a team here!
This was the pass key to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor. I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work, for my family, and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Grasha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. Thomas, you feel the poop! They had barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! Okay, Max. Now you check the main terminal. I'm gonna go and look for the Bronco plane by the hangar, okay? Let's do it. You keep an eye out in there. You know Becker's gonna have some guys in there watching out for you. Yep. So, of course, I knew they were looking for me. But the airport was about the only place a fat gringo might blend in. Well, there or a sex club. Hey! Hey! Parado aí! My delusions of disguise lasted around two seconds. They were out in force. And they were out for me. But then, I was out for them, too. Every last one of those bastards.
vacation was coming to an end. Only I wasn't heading home with a sunburn, a bag full of duty free, and a dose of VD. I was making a bet that would put me in handcuffs or a body bag. These were Becker's guys. Him and Victor had a private airport to go with their private army and their private jet. The customer restroom. I could get through to the departure gates up ahead. There were Ufe all over the airport and civilians were being moved out. Looking at it one way, shutting down the airport for their escape was a weird sort of compliment. But one I didn't need.
didn't look like there'd be any trams leaving until the power was on. If I was going to be able to turn the power on anywhere, it'd be in the office. Again. Maybe they'd take me to my gate. Maybe they'd bring more guys wanting to whack me. Maybe both. Felt like I might be able to recharge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. Son of a bitch! Didn't work out. Pain Express.
ram was slowing down, and I'd only just gotten on board. I had to salvage what I could and see what was waiting for me. This was my stop. It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar, but when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks, let me walk in the main entrance. I'll put a big shit-eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. Boy, were they throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? Not really. It was pathetic desperation, and not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. <coughs> there the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I ain't got nowhere else to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate ele! Mate ele agora! Não! 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 it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Get in! 
Good Max! I'm in, just drive the fucking car! Go! We had one card left to play. Just get me close! Fuck! Ah! Ah! A squad is coming from the right! Pass it to your side! Enjoy a trial and a spell in prison. Let him suffer. Trust me. <laughs> you know I'll walk. You'll walk <laughs> with a lip! Boy, it's dark in some places, but it's sunny everywhere else. Over to Marisol with the weather. 